to those called to guide the nation's political future in fidelity to its founding principles. I find it encouraging that you are proposing an initiative for reducing air pollution. Another lie, it's not air pollution, it's carbon dioxide and water. Accepting the urgency, it seems clear to me also oh. that climate change is a problem we can no longer be left to a future generation. Okay. And uh, bro, is the Earth still the center of the universe? Just, just asking, because you're the big scientist here, and you tell us what reality is. If he gets his way, a billion people will starve to death in the next 10 years. I mean, it's just a death sentence to the third world. But everyone says we must bask in his glow. I'm going to vomit. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm Alex Jones, your host. The globalists are making their move right now, their concerted effort to establish a planetary government that taxes all human activity under carbon taxes. The UN admits that over $100 billion has been spent in the last 30 years promoting the idea of global warming. Now, that's been proven to be a fraud. They just say climate change, period. They're the saviors. You live like they say you live or you are a enviro terrorist. While they genetically engineer, while they toxic waste dump, while they create chimera species, while they try to play God and literally destroy the planet, we hear nothing from the Pope about baby organ harvesting in America. We hear nothing from him about the big mega central banks looting everyone and being tax exempt. It's all how the public shouldn't have air conditioning and shouldn't have cars. This is to make us poor and totally control us. It is a vicious criminal attack. And that's why the Pope gave his speech in Cuba. You can pull up the transcript in Spanish where he says, the beauty of the poor, the grace of the poor, how any type of wealth is bad, how the poorer the better. Well, that's how the communists want you. The ultra rich above the law with the Pope, with a completely captured Catholic Church. And folks, people say that John Paul, you know, the second and stuff wasn't good. Whatever, he criticized communism. He promoted free market because he promoted family. He promoted not having abortion. People claimed he had been a New World Order takeover, and I didn't go along with that. But let me tell you, this guy is bad news. I mean, he's really bad. He will hurt poor people. And, and, and that's the worst part that I'm going to your phone calls. I was there in the gym this morning, and I watched an immigrant, because I talked to the guys, the nice guys here legally, uh, West African janitor, cleaning up some trash cans, wiping some stuff off, and he had such pride looking at Obama and looking at the Pope and just had love in his eyes when those two would slit his throat in a minute if they thought it would give him more power. I mean, there's no debating. This isn't my opinion. These are evil, evil men. And they've just got these hardworking poor people with all this austerity talk and how beautiful it is to be poor and we're going to get the rich people and you know we're going to redistribute the wealth when it's designed to destroy any avenue they've got to become self-sufficient. It's total plantation behavior. You know who invented the plantations, the Romans. And you know who picked them back up with some of their operations in Latin America, in Mesoamerica, and the Americas, the Jesuits. Most of the other Catholic orders did not keep people as slaves and did it actually built people up. I've studied the history in depth. There was abuses here, abuses there, but... In many areas, it was a force to build up civilization and actually empower people. There were a lot of abuses. I'm not defending it. But comparing it to the Jesuits, the Jesuits created communism. Marx and Engels just picked it back up. And I always knew this. I read it in the history books. I understood it. But I didn't think the public could understand the difference between Jesuits and Catholics. There's a lot of different... Jesuits out there who aren't in the inner circles that aren't aware of this, who mean well, I know that for a fact. 
And now, though, you cannot deny that the Jesuits are making a planetary pull for a world government with communist philosophy, with the world elite exempt from it all, the new royalty. I mean, this is an abomination desolation. This is just unspeakably cold-blooded and evil. To watch him sit up there with his hand out to all these poor people, promising them a future. Knowing full well under Agenda 21, which he's endorsing fully, it's designed to impoverish. I mean, I'm not getting tears in my eyes right now as melodrama. My physical body, my cells, and my spirit literally gets chills up my back, a headache, and I start crying. I started crying on the elliptical, I started getting tears in my eyes, and I, I asked them to turn some of it off. And folks were kind of sick of it, so they started turning it off. It was on eight different televisions because they're going to kill a billion people with this with this alone. I mean, a billion people. Stalin said one person is a one man dies. It's a tragedy. Ten thousand dies is a statistic. And it's just like you're not going to hear a word out of him about the millions of kids being harvested. I can't believe I'm saying millions of kids being harvested. A whole bunch of Democratic Party groups came out yesterday and endorsed pedophilia. I mean, they're just moving on every front. God help us. God help us. I, I mean, they are just taking over. And everything else, forced inoculations. They're announcing our kids belong to them. They're opening the borders. They're just engaged in every evil you can imagine. I mean, these people are Satanists. I will say it. Pope Francis is a devil worshiper. I can tell you right now. He wants to kill people. You know, I can't help it. I had a headache, I was upset until I called the Pope a devil worshiper, and now I feel better. Because if he won't talk about the mass harvesting of dead babies, if he won't talk about GMOs destroying God's creation, on record causing incredible mutations in animals that eat it, if he won't talk about how the world government has a plan to carry out eugenics, how the EU is meant to enslave Europe, no, instead he promotes the EU, he promotes carbon taxes, he promotes things that we know are a massive death sentence. Do you understand, folks, that in the third world, if 50% of your income starts going to food above that line, massive starvation kicks in. 40 plus million people starve to death every year. It was 30 million just a decade ago. And if they cut off the carbon to the third world, you will see massive die-offs. So he wants to flood the West with third world populations to politically control them and make them socialist, but then not help those countries. They destroy Libya, they destroy South Africa, they destabilize countries. Not a word about the economic hitmen in Latin America. Not a word about all this. When he first got in three years ago, two and a half years ago, he did say there's too much debt, debt needs to be forgiven by these central banks. But it was, and I was like, that's pretty good. I don't usually like leftists, but that's a, and then it was all just right at front, a little bit of good stuff. And I was like, I don't know about Pope Francis. He might be good. And then now he's just letting us know who he is. It is a death sentence. Yes, I'm for free market. It's not free market if Nigeria in 1949, you, know, you can look this up, borrows a billion dollars. They've paid over $100 billion in interest on it. And they still owe over $100 billion on it. Is it fair to pay $200 billion on a billion? That's loan sharking. All over the country, they're changing laws where used to you couldn't have payday loans, you know, with 20% interest a week. They're getting rid of the laws. The Republicans are going along with it with the Democrats in places like Arkansas to screw people over. Interest is fine, but there should be laws on abusing poor people. And that's what I don't like. Yes, there are some poor people that choose to be poor who are very austere, very Christ-like. My dad had an older cousin who invented uh, just a very famous piece of computer equipment and made fabulous amounts of money. I'm going to leave it at that. Fabulous. He gave it all to the Salvation Army and drove around in an almost broke down car ministering to people. He's not alive anymore. Now, that is Christ-like. When the Pope talks about being poor and the spirit of the poor, that's when you choose to be like that. Christ could have been the king of the planet, but he chose to be poor as an example, to not distract people from the message.
But the Pope twists that with austerity that it's so cool to be poor. That's what Obama went to Africa and said, you can't have air conditioning, you can't have cars. Not, we got to make them cleaner, we got to make them better. Just look, you're not getting them. And if you give the Africans cars, and if you give them air conditioning, and if you give them industry, I mean, wouldn't you love it if Africa was big, beautiful hotels and those wonderful lakes and resorts, and you could just jump on an airplane and go there and hang out? But the globalists don't want that. They want on record to the Royal Commission on Population, 1949, to keep them in squalor, to control them so they can get the resources for nothing. Africa has been held down. And it's the same message. That's what the modern Catholic Church wants. That's what Obama wants. It's what the socialists want is a bunch of dumbed-down idiots that they control. Anthony, you're here to cover health news. We're going to take calls with me and ride shotgun until Peter Schiff joins us. We're going to cover that health news coming up here in about 10 minutes. I want to go to some calls first. And we've got incredible news. We told you it was coming. Reuters, intelligent car seat detects driver's stress level. I told you 15 years ago that was coming. It calls the police on you when you're tired or stressed. Being federally mandated. Told you that yesterday. It's in the news today. I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you, total battle plan, total admission. They're putting cancer viruses in your vaccines. You hear the Pope talking about that? You hear the Pope saying, don't take the Gardasil shot in Latin America. That's going to sterilize most of those girls. People say, Alex, you say there's too many Latin Americans. Let's sterilize them. Wink, wink. No, you don't kill and maim people. You protect them. You build them up. You just don't let the globalists in while they're killing one group of them. Use them as a weapon against us. It's called three-level and four-level dimensional thinking, not one-dimensional or smart people thinking two-dimensional. It's like dealing with a bunch of mental midgets. Wake up. I'm not talking to our audience. I'm talking to new listeners. How did I tell you last week? I said, now you're going to see a push for pedophilia. Suddenly, Democrat publications everywhere say it's the best thing since pumpkin pie. Because it's an agenda. I know who these people are. They won't stop till they've got their hands on your kids. If they can't have the baby fighting the scalpel when it's eight months old, you know, because it wants to live, they're going to get your kid in a dungeon when they're done, okay? It's what they do. Migrant crisis, Euro tensions threaten to trigger catastrophic conflict, experts claim and warn. We're going to get to that. Fighting for pedophilia, it's now official. U.S. government admits it is a policy to cover up and aid allies in the rape of little boys because it's their culture. You see, it's a pedophile's culture that they want to grab your five-year-old out of the backyard. Instead, if your five-year-old chooses under UN agreements, under what NAMBLA wants, there's a 50-year-old pot-bellied pedophile with a weird, crusty goatee and a simpering voice at your door here to date your five-year-old. And the school's going to teach your kid that that's their right, and they're going to go, Mommy, I want to go with Bob. And you think I'm joking. I'm not joking. And if you don't give your five-year-old the bob, you're going to get SWAT teamed. They're not playing games. What's the latest thing with Jenner? Will you guys bring me an article on that? Caitlin running somebody over and all that stuff? And it's okay because it's a god that did it. Like in Ghostbusters, are you a god? Jenner says, yes, well, good, giant ass. So... <laughs> when somebody asks you if you're a god, you, you say yes, okay? So so we've got all this going on, and it's just going to get, DA will not prosecute in fatal car crash because it's a god. All right, tell me your, your, your take. I mean, listening to the Pope, it sounded like, I would use that voice for like an evil spider that crawls in people's ears and takes control of them in a movie that once the alien spiders are in your brain, that's what you sound like as the Pope. I mean... You know, I don't want to say he's a PBP, but I'm telling you. It's a great tonality, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you know, the Pope had a great PR marketing strategy. Whoever was on his advisory team was amazing because in the very beginning, he came out and said a lot of really good things that everyone liked. It was universal. It was beyond party lines. You know, we should help people. Oh, my God, this Pope is amazing. How could he say those things? And then he comes here and he's like, we need to come together. It's your fault. All these things are happening. Carbon taxes coming, coming. <laughs> and it's interesting, too, because you notice no one actually talks about the solutions. They always blame other people, right? So the Pope and Obama are up there saying it's people that have money in the United States that you're the reason Africa is destabilized. No, I'm pretty sure it's actually people like you that just destabilized Africa. Years it was Obama. They blew up Libya. Absolutely. And they go in and they do bombing runs and they say people in America 
America that make over $50,000 per year are evil. It's like, it's total mental illness. They don't realize that- Well, they realize they're the ultra rich class warfaring. Of course, of course. But they don't talk about real injustices. Like you're talking about these insane pedophile articles. I mean, it's, it's demented, it's absolutely insane. But they're up there talking about things that 